Hello everyone, this is Damon with PitchNub Software. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how simple it is to automate composites like this in Photoshop with the Sports Photo Automation plugin. So the first thing you'll need to do is to set up your PSD template. This is very simple to do. Under the PSD template setup screen, you'll select the alignment mode you want and the player slot. In this case, it's just one player in the image, so I'll use player slot one. I go over all these in much more detail in the actual tutorial videos. This is just a um, quick demonstration video. So I hit add player, layer group, and that adds that layer setup to the image. Now an optional step which I recommend is to add a custom player image and give it an image that you're going to be running in your batch or one that's at least the similar pose. And that way, you can align that pose to the template. So I'll just hit Control T, and I will move and scale that into place. Yeah, somewhere like this is good enough for this demonstration here. And you can hide this um, tar target layer with the um, red alignment marks if you want. And then you'll just move that entire group where you want it. And that's it. Your, um, your um, group is set up, or your, your template is set up now. And then I've already set up the text layers in this template, but if you're doing text, um, I've got another video that shows how to set those up. I'm not going to be covering that in this video. So I'll just hit save on that. And now in the batch processing, let me clear the settings here. You just need to um, grab the folder of images. So let me see here. Grab a save folder. And then the, um, the PSD template. And this is the one that we just saved. That's all you have to do to run it. But uh, if you want to go a step further, if you have set up your text layers, you can use CSV data and use this to automate the text replacement as well. So I'm going to do that just for this demonstration here. Okay, now I'm just going to hit run. Now you're not always going to see it refresh on the screen here um, because while the batch is running, Photoshop doesn't typically update that much, but it is replacing the images and you can see our progress. We're at 7.9 seconds an image. And this is actually running slower too because I'm using the um, video recording software. The same batch ran it under seven. It was like six and a half, I think, when I ran this without recording. So it's really pretty fast. So there we have it. Our five images are complete. Let's open the um, images here. And let me see, where do we put those? It's under here. So you see that it's replaced the name. And this was based on the um, CSV template that I had there. So really, really simple. And you can see how it got the alignment set it for each one where it placed the face in the same spot and scaled the images the same. So very simple to use. Um, be sure to watch the other tutorials because I dive a lot deeper into all these settings. There's actually a lot more that can be done too. We just did the basics um, with a one player image and then replaced the text layer with the CSV. But there is a lot of other stuff you can do to really push your automation to the next level. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you're interested in sports photo automation, please be sure to visit our website. That is pixnub.com.